ESPN mm. at night. ESPN Plus app, if you have it. Was that what you was watching on? Yeah, I was watching it on that. I just wanted to shout out a couple of the fighters on the ESPN Plus app, if y'all had a chance to watch them. Dante Benjamin, uh, did you watch him? If you didn't, no biggie. No, 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 I did. Okay, good. Dante, free smoke, Benjamin. Free smoke. Hey, who the, who the fuck is that? <laughs> That's what I got to say. Cause that, hey, I, I was like, hey. dude, this dude, who is this? <laughs> who is this? He's from Ohio, obviously. Ah, he from Cleveland. I feel from like Cleveland. we had an Ohio <laughs> family reunion last night. Everything was Ohio, Ohio, Ohio. Yes, sir. In Ohio. Yes. Man. Yes. Y'all, y'all, y'all showed up and showed out. Dante 6-0. How many KOs he got? Uh, seven probably. No, he's seven and zero now. <laughs> seven and zero. Yeah, with uh, with with uh, five KOs. Okay, and is just running through him, and is really just lighting it up right now. Um, he fights right there at that like that 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 in between one seventy three. You know, he's right there at one seventy three. Um, I like to see him go down to sixty eight if possible. What the hell is one seventy three? So one seventy three will be light light heavyweight. 173 it's is not, a weight class? Well, no, no, no. 178 is the weight. 176 is the weight class. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought it says, I think it, I think it said super middleweight, right? Something Did like it? That. I don't know. I don't I know. I could have been confused. Is, but I, I like to see him make that super middleweight. I think that he'll be more of a force. Okay. I think that as super middle, what you see for him right now against guys at that above that 170 mark, guys above that 170 mark against him, and, and of course, again, with his amateur pedigree. They no one can really contend with him right now. You gotta go if you can. You can't go jab for jab with him at, at that weight. Uh, he he outspeeds you, outquicks you. Light heavy. Light heavy. Yeah. There oh, you go. Okay. Okay. He, he outspeeds you, outquicks you, and then he's got power behind all that. On top of the fact that he's got experience. You know yeah. what I mean. So I think it's a matter of time before he moves down to 68. He moves down there, and then the playing field evens out a little bit because the speed increases and. Um, Quickness increases. If those don't, then the power increases, the strength inque- increases, and so I think that he'll he'll. I mean, seven and zero. Of course, he's a little ways from being yeah. you know really challenged. We but, see it. But yeah, we see it. Yeah. Is it the first time you've seen him? I've seen no, him. That's but the first, this the, last night was the first time I seen. I okay. laid eyes on. Him. We talked about him like once on okay. the podcast, but he, everything he's done has been on ESPN Plus app. Okay, you know what I mean. So I think of all of the Cleveland guys who just turned pro in the last. Three to four years, he would at this point it's kind of like for the second words bringing up the rear for the second words. But I mean, he's he's managing on managing everything and uh, making the best of the opportunities uh, ESPN and Ty Rank are giving him right now. So, so what are you doing, Cleveland? You you're raised, you're born, you you turn a boxer. No, you're you born get, and then you're yeah, raised. whatever. You <laughs> about eighteen to 20, 24, you move to Vegas. <laughs> is that what y'all do in Ohio? <laughs> they they ain't moved yet, but they they, they, they on their way. <laughs> they on, they they on, on their way. way. Yeah, when I was <laughs> uh, 15, 16, everybody in that crop before me was out here. Dang, that's when, crazy. When I was 18, we came out here and we were staying with guys who had already been out here for a couple okay. of years, doing things for themselves. Oh, you came and left? No, oh uh, yeah. Well, oh, okay. I came. See, this is another thing. My dad had me doing training camps when I was 18 years old. Mm. So I came here before the U.S. Championships. I was here for like three weeks, four weeks. Who camp was you in? Uh, that was so. That was when I sparred with. Um, shoot, I'm losing his name. Uh, oh man, um, uh, Chad Chad Dawson. Okay. The first time I sparred, or the only time I sparred with Chad Dawson. He was working with Mayweather at the time, right? Yeah. yeah. And that was and and I'd also spar with uh, Layla Ali at that point in time as well. Oh, okay. And then spar with the other couple of other guys, Zab Judah's brother, Joe um, Judah. Uh, yeah, yeah, and a couple other people at that point in okay. time. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, man, um, this is like, and we saw this out of uh, Jared last night where he's talking about everybody, you got to get out of Toledo. Mm-hmm. Same thing with Cleveland. You got to get out of Cleveland. Mm-hmm. Don't mean you can't go back. Just means you got to get out in order to survive. You got to get mm-hmm. out in order to enhance and improve everything that you're doing. And then you take it back there. You know what I mean? So, um, and I've seen some other fighters do that. I'm in the process of making some things happen myself too. So. Okay. 